Greetings viewers. Here we are back once again with my Microsoft Surface Go 2. And we can see here the upgrade to Windows 11 is ready and it's free. It's been up for a little while. I just haven't gotten around to actually doing this. But now that it's the Christmas vacation, I can go ahead and take care of it. Because, really, one of my whole reasons for buying this machine in the first place was so that it could run Windows 11. It will be the first Windows 11 device I have ever used, and that I have in my possession. So far, it'll be the only one, although a couple of the machines that I have that support it may get upgraded to Windows 11 in due time. Just the same as I've slowly been getting things up to Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 where required. I absolutely hate Windows 10. It's such a horrible operating system. It reminds me a lot of Vista. So we'll see if Windows 11 is any better. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we will not touch the Windows Insider program. That's not what I want. Download and install. Here's your software license terms, which I read very carefully. Upgrade to Windows 11 is now downloading. We'll see how long that takes. Okay, it's been quite a bit. And as you can see, we're still running Windows 10. What's more, is it claims that we're up to date, and then we need to get ready for Windows 11. Well, gee, didn't I just click on the button to upgrade? So, okay, obviously the automatic system doesn't work, which is probably an ominous sign, but we're going to force the issue because I am daring, and we're going to just do it. And we'll see what this tool happens to say. This is the manual tool. Okay, I can close that. This PC meets the minimum system requirements to install Windows 11. Well, I don't really care. We're going to read that very carefully, obviously. We'll accept and install. Step one of three, downloading. Oh, gee, it's going to download it again, even though it's already done it. Well, we'll let it do its thing. Well, we're at the installing phase. Looks like that's not even going to take very long. Of course, this is a new system. There's not very much in terms of programs, and there's certainly not very much in terms of data. In fact, I don't even think I've got anything stored on here. So... With any luck, this upgrade will take place tonight. It's 9.49. I forgot to take down the time when I started. But I don't think it's been that long. So, we'll see how long this takes. Okay. It's now 11 o'clock. It's ready to restart. This is the last time we'll be seeing Windows 10 on this. Restart now. So, say goodbye to Windows 10 and hello to Windows 11. Hopefully, if everything actually works. But I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. Just because, you know, my life is a comedy and all that. And I kind of need this to be ready for tomorrow, which is why I'm doing this now. There's no going back now. Not that there was any going back before. Okay. It's zipping through that. Wow, that's actually impressive. Just keep the camera rolling. At least for the foreseeable future, this is probably the only device on my network that's going to be running Windows 11. Okay, now it looks like we might have hit a point where it's going to take a little bit. So, I'll be back once it does something interesting. Hopefully once we've got the login screen.
Oh, maybe not. So just jump straight to 48%. It took it a while to get through the last 20% of the install to start with, so... We'll see. Well, it looks like we've made it to Windows 11. Mouse still works. Keyboard still works. Let me sign in. They changed the font. And they certainly changed that. I think it looks a little bit cooler, really. Almost kind of like a lava lamp, in a way, but not really. See how many more minutes it actually does take. It's eleven ten right now. There it is. We have a desktop. Here's the new start menu that everybody hates so much. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of mixed as far as my feelings of it. As long as I can see if we can go in and align that the way it's supposed to be. I'm hoping that the performance is not going to be too bad. So I was noticing that during the uh, that little thing that you saw, it was kind of freezing a little bit. So I'm kind of wondering about the uh, ultimate end performance of this. Task burnt alignment. Should be aligned left. There. So that's the way it's supposed to be. I'm not too sure how I feel about this. I probably can get used to it. I may just leave it. I mean, it's not that much different from... Once you align it like this, it's not that much different from Windows 10. My mouse stopped responding a little bit there, which is good. It's very good. So, it's pinned a bunch of crap that I don't necessarily want, though. So, I'm, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about that. It might have just been whatever junk was pinned previously with the live tiles. I never really paid attention to any of those, just because I didn't really care for them. So, but it doesn't look like too much has died a screaming death. So that's good. It's not easy to access settings anymore, it looks like. So that's kind of annoying. So we'll go back to settings here. Let's take a look. What's going on? see if I can figure out where all my settings are supposed to be. I want the lock screen. Yeah, it is definitely a little on the sluggish side. We'll run Windows Update. See what it has to say. I guess time will really tell. It's still faster than the old tablet was. The Acer Switch 110 was under Windows 10, so... That's not necessarily a bad thing. We'll just let it do its thing. They definitely changed that. I don't know if it shows a progress bar anymore. Oh, it does. Cool. Right on cue. It's not a major change, but it's a change nonetheless. Let's 
remember what I was told, right? That is the new Windows 11 logo as well. They've taken away the perspective on it. I don't know about you, but I don't think any windows look like that. At least not usually. Okay, well, it's nice to see that it actually remembered that when I changed it. For whatever reason, the color did not stick. It's black and white now. I don't know if that's a Windows 11 thing or not, but, uh... Well, whatever. I guess I'll have to get used to it. The other thing that uh, has been a major sore spot with people about Windows 11, and I can certainly see why, because I don't really like them myself, but with Windows 11 Home, which is what this is running, you can no longer use a local account. You have to use a Microsoft account. There's no getting around it, like there was in Windows 10. They said, well, that's enough of that. Everybody's using a Win Microsoft account now, which really kind of sucks. But, oh well, whatever. It's running Windows 11. So yes, I do have one Windows 11 device on my network. Like I keep saying, it'll probably stay that way for a very long time. I was able to keep Windows 10 off of my network for a very long time for the most part before I started getting hardware that was no longer supported under anything else. Even though it seems really silly still to me that Windows 8.1 does not have support for a lot of these things, because Windows 8.1 is still supported for another year yet. And then some. I think it's supported till October of 2023, which is almost two years. It's a year and ten months. It's not exactly a short period of time. And yet everybody has completely abandoned it, as if it's been unsupported, just like Windows 7 has. I mean, I, I get the whole sentiment behind nobody really uses it, but it's still supported. There's very little, in the grand scheme of things, there's very little Linux usage, and yet that's still very widely supported by things. So it doesn't make any sense to me. Whatever. Lest this become a support rant had enough of those lately i'm going to end this video so thank you for watching if you have any comments feel free to leave them down below